Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another easy tutorial. So today we will be learning how to create the rock, paper, scissors photograph. Let's get started. So you guys will need three major things to make this project happen. Number one, you guys will need some type of camera. A DSLR or a smartphone camera will do. But today we will be using my iPhone. Second, you guys will need a mirror. The bigger the mirror is, the easier this project will be. Lastly, you guys will need Photoshop. I will provide a link down below. Alright, let's go. Let's start with the positioning of the camera. So honestly this part is a little bit difficult to do. You guys won't have a tripod to use to hold the camera steady after you take the first shot. So more than likely you guys will make this kind of mistake. So for instance, let's say you take this shot, you guys might end up moving the camera up, down, left or right, or even forward. These actions will make the photoshopping part a lot more difficult because the actions you just did will ruin the composition. So try your best not to do that. Try your best to keep the shot inside the mirror itself and keep the frame out of it. So just move forward just like this. Now take whatever hand you're using left or right. Right now I'm going to use my left hand and I'm going to make a, a rock sign. I'm going to keep it down to the left side of the screen as much as possible. And right here I will take a shot. And next part I'll be pretty much be holding my breath. And now I'm going to make a paper sign. Just like that. That's pretty much all you need to do if you did it perfectly. Now we'll go into Photoshop and show you the mistakes I did. I actually took about 10 shots before I actually did something right. Woo! So as you can see here, I actually took a total of 10 pictures. The final two being the ones most easiest to work with. The first eight pictures showcase really offset movements between the first and second shot, making them hard to photoshop together. It is doable to fix these cases and still have the same product in the end, but for this tutorial, I will be showing you guys how to photoshop the near perfect pictures you guys should take. But here's an example on what trying to photoshop messed up shots look like. You'll have to do a lot more masking and moving around of the shots, so let's try to avoid that. The final two here show very minimal movements between the first and second shot. It looks like I barely moved at all. Now I'm just going to drag them into Photoshop. The main picture I will be working off of is the paper gesture one. So now I'm going to drag the rock gesture picture onto the main picture. Create a new layer mask here. It will have a white layer mask. Click Ctrl I to turn it black. This will hide your top layer. Now make sure your foreground layer is the opposite of the layer mask. In this case, it's white. This will enable you to add the hidden mask. Let the background layer be black. This will let you erase the mask. Go to your brush tool, adjust the size accordingly, and now start masking away only the area you need to do. This will minimize mistakes. Hit Ctrl plus to zoom in and on the picture. It is all in the details, so I will try to make this look as seamless as possible. Alright guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed the tutorial. Make sure to like and subscribe and if you guys end up making this type of photo, feel free to show me. Add me on Instagram and I'll add you guys back. Peace out and happy editing.